Hello everybody and welcome to Voxelbot, a new game from publisher, where are they? There we are, Nanning's Games, who have published such games as Tricky Fox, Tricky Cats, Super Space Jumpman, Super Orb Collector, Hookshot, Hexapath, and Cube Mission. Truly a wonderful plethora of amazing games and titles, because they're all such recognisable ones. Anyway, Voxelbot caught my eye initially because it looked like, well, a Cubit clone. If you've ever played the old arcade classic Cubit, you know it's basically jumping around a grid in order to fill out all of the boxes and then you win. With enemies and so on, but power-ups and whatnot. But anyway, yes, it's all very, very good and fun. And I actually really like Cubit, so I was interested to play this. Uh, I will say, very happy with this game because no matter how simple it is, it does have a uh, key binding option. And I love that. That's brilliant. <laughs> I wish more games did it. Even if they're this simple, they have a key binding option. Which is just absolutely lovely. Such a fan of that. What else? Well, there are over 60 missions and it only costs £1. Now, admittedly, you could probably find Flash games of this online. But this game is surprisingly polished and I'll show that later on. It does run at a very smooth 60 frames per second, and it is extremely entertaining, to say the least. Let, let's uh, just have a look into it, though, uh, with more settings. Very simple under resolution. There isn't any fancy stuff needed. Um, again, the FPS, I'll enable it to now just to show it off. There we go. And you can see it, it is running at a very smooth 60, which is lovely. I mean, you'd expect it for a game of this nature, but still... I, I am incredibly pleased with that. Anyway, let's actually get into some gameplay, shall we? There we go. Let's have a look at the first level, just so you can get a look at it. Look, it's a little robot. You move him around with your arrow sticks or the WASD keys. And there we go. That's it. You just walk around and you fill up the boxes nice and simple. And there you go. That's a level finish. Right. Now, that's the most simple level there is. This is the second level. You just move around, you have these warp pads, they bounce you over between islands. Nice and simple so far, there we go. Uh, I will say, I'm pretty sure this was intended for mobile rather than uh, PC, given the fact that it does have the mouse buttons here. Anyway, there's also these enemies, which I'd like. There are multiple kinds you encounter, but these are the simplest. They move on a given path, and that's it. They're not too, they're not too bad at all. Nice and simple, in fact. Right, so next up, we've got the moving platforms, which do not move. What I don't know why I said they did. They're buttons with, um, there we go. You press the button, it changes which uh, bridge you've got. Again, just very simple. Very nice. This is probably going to be a very short video. But I don't care. Uh, then you have these sorts of boxes, which deactivate, but the red spikes will kill you. Um... But yeah, you just hop on them. There we go. And it kills you like that. And then they get more complicated later on, having them come out of the side and the tops of the boxes. Anyway, there we go. Let's deactivate those. Lovely. Funny thing, they actually only deactivate once you jump off them. So if you're on them uh, before they've deactivated, they will still spike you up the arse, which, lovely. Just what you expect. Anyway, right. So with this one, uh, the spike at the top is the last box and you'll see it's already coloured in. So that means we don't really want to mess with it. So there we go. If we hit all of those, we just move straight up to the end. And because we didn't fuck around with the rest of it, we don't get spiked up the ass. Lovely. Right, there we go. Here's the second ki kind of enemy. This is the red frog thing that just follows you around the board. So whatever direction you're in, there we go. It will slowly try and make its way towards you. And it will inevitably just land on the box that you are on and kill you. Much more threatening than the little green guy. But um, not too bad. There we go. Lovely. Nice and simple. Gets much harder when there are multiple ones of them on the board. Ah, oh, there we go. Lovely. With little green guys going up in lines with the little hops. It is just... I will say, the look of the game is very nice and polished, and I do love the colours they've chosen for it. It's a very colourful game. I really do like that about it, especially with these sort of mobile-y titles. Right, so there we go. I'm probably... Ah, oh, damn. 
There we go. Okay. These, I, I won't lie, this level did give me a bit of trouble in just how annoying it was to try and get it onto certain blocks. There we go. Right. So they spin. There we go. If you hop on it there. Then wait for it to come around. There we go. Lovely. And that's it. Simple as that. Perfect. Ah, there we go. Here's a harder level. Uh, this is the one where that frog only hops when you hop. So the idea is more that you want to figure out what each of the colours means for the frog's movement and then work accordingly. So there we go. What I tend to do is just make these little uh, zigzag patterns and then he tends to not get you. There we are. I don't know why it sometimes does double hops when I'm not expecting it to. Uh, that might be one of the colour things, but there we go. Lovely. Nice and simple. Come on. Ah, oh, lovely. And another thing worth mentioning about this game. Very nice music. And I died on the last one. Ah, oh, bugger that. Right. But no, this game does have uh, eight individual tracks. Let's go on to track eight. I think that's quite a good one. But yeah, all of the tracks are pretty damn good. Um, again, limited number, but I don't mind that too much. It's like with the old Tony Hawk's games. I never minded too much that they only had a set number of tracks either. And all of these are pretty good tunes. They're quite nice. They work well for this kind of game, especially. There we go. Again, I don't know why it sometimes does those uh, double hops, but... There we go. Come on. Oh, damn. Right. Ah, I sort of screwed myself up on this one, didn't I? Uh, this way, yep. There we go. Just keep him stuck in that corner. Okay, so now he's going to come closer, so we've got to move away. There we go. Lovely. Yeah, this is going pretty well. Okay. And... Oh, God, which way does he jump? Good. Good. There we go. Another level done. Excellent. Nice and simple. There are 60 of these. All of them, like... I don't believe I've seen those little coloured blo uh, blocks come back. But there we go. We've now got the ones with the side. I uh, need to hop off that, don't I? There we are. Oh, and go on, go down. There we go. Lovely. This level is actually quite simple. We just have to time it right. They're all on set timers, so as long as you can tell the pattern, there's not much trouble in it at all, really. There we go. It's all good. It is all very good. And it is, as I've said, it's enjoyable. It's incredibly simple, but I do find myself having fun with it. Ah, damn. Okay, that was my fault on the timing. Right, come on then. Oh, and you can also use mouse controls to move around, which I do find incredibly satisfying. Right, there we go. Okay, so that's... Da, 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 there we go. And then bounce over to this. Right. Ah, damn. That was my own fault again. <laughs> ah, good grief. Right. Tell you what, we've seen this level. Let's go to one of the harder ones. Um, Let me see. I think I've only done up to the 24th. So let's have a look at, say, 16. Yes, this will do. <laughs> It's basically the same thing, but with jump pads. There we go. Come on. Time it. Lovely. And then that one goes down. Ah, damn. Again, just my own fault. Really is. Right. Okay, so once it's done the timing, you just follow it. There we go. Lovely. I will say this is one of the ones where those won't stop moving because they're blue. Uh, you can't deactivate them. There we go. Easy. Nice and easy. Right. 
Um, yep, fair enough. These are the ones which follow you, as you can see, because they've got the red markings and they don't move in time with you. There we go. Let's push that box on. There we go. So now we've got one box, but we can't reach the other one. So we need to do that. There we go. Right. There we go. Excellent. Nice and easy. Uh, I think the one after this is one of the harder ones. Might be. Yes, it is. It's the one where you've got four of those guys chasing after you. Lovely. And these ones get quite hectic quite quickly if you don't control where you're moving. So if I just make... Sort of drag them all into one corner. That does seem to work quite well. There we go. Just keep doing that little zigzag. And then bounce up to the corners. Just wait for them a bit. Right. Come on. There we go. Okay. Lovely. Ah, oh, dear. Right. There we go. They're all grouped together. Ah, bugger. I should have seen that coming. Ah, but I didn't. Okay. That's fair enough. Completely on me. Anyway. To be fair, there's not really much more to say about this. The puzzles get more complicated, sure, but the core gameplay is practically the same, as I've said. Very similar to Cubert. And I love Cubert, so I sort of love this. I think this is a bit more colourful and a bit more, you know, doesn't have as much personality as the old Cubert did, but um, it's still pretty good. I'd say it's fine. It, it's a decent game, especially for only a pound. Which a lot of the games which I have looked at have been, come to think of it. But yeah, no, this is actually quite fun. And I do like the designs of the characters and so on. The little robot's quite cute with his two big eyes like saucers they were. But yeah, it's all good. I enjoy it. It's a very simple game, but that's not to its detriment. It works really well for what it is. And what it is, is, well, something that should probably be on mobile rather than PC. As I say, for a PC game, it's fine. It's It really is just fine. I enjoy it. It's a fun enough game, but um, there isn't too much depth to it. Outside of the extra add-ons to the puzzles, which are okay. Like, you get them every now and then. But they tend to be stuff like this, where they add more rather than making it harder. Or adding or changing the mechanics so you have to move around it. Unless it's stuff like the boxes, I suppose. They were... The changes to those were quite nice. Uh, adding in the sideways ones and so on. And I'm presuming when you get to level 60 and so on, it'll have them be all sorts of bollocks. Anyway. Tell you what, let's get them all up here. There we go. Oh, okay. So not all of them are following that. Ah, bollocks. Well, there we are. That's my own fault again. Ah, oh dear. I thought they'd all come towards me. But for some reason, no. They won't because they're being arrogant little sprogs. Right. There we are. I will say, sometimes when you're using the keyboard, um, it's not completely clear which one you're actually going to jump to. That is one of the problems with having games in 3D space like this, an isometric game, having 2D controls. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, that's on me. Right, come on, we can do this. I don't, I won't lie, this one did give me a ton of trouble when I first played it, so I'm not surprised it's giving me trouble now. There we go. And there we are, come on, come this way. Right, there we are, and let's fill in these squares. There we go. Ah, come on. If there was an indication of where the frogs were going to jump, that would make it a ton easier. Been saying that, I probably wouldn't enjoy it as much. So, eh, you get what you get. There we go. Let's do this. Hop up here, pop back down. Ah, oh dear. It does feel like a pretty good arcade title, actually. If, I don't know. If games can, like, Crossy Road can be arcade titles, I'd love to see this in, like, a cabinet or something. Even if, you know, I wouldn't rather have a modern version of Cubert. 
Right, let's go this way. There we are. Lovely. Good. This might be the run. I think it is, in fact. If it is, that would be lovely. Right, are they coming this way? They are. Oh, shit. Run away. There we... Oh, no. Why did you jump there? No. No. <laughs> Oh, no. You know what? It's not going to be fun having to watch me fail at that level so much. Let's have a look at, at, I don't know, the latest one. Level 24. Let's see what this one is. Right, so this is the green guys who go in sort of set paths. Again. Good. Okay. So he doesn't go that way. That's good. I think with these guys, it, uh, it's much easier than with the red ones. The red ones can get frustrating to a ridiculous level. Right, there we go. You're going to jump up, aren't you? No, you didn't. Fair enough. Um, This way, then? Hey, there we go. Lovely. Right. Let's just go back to this level, then. Uh, we can avoid him quite easily. Go on to this one. Okay. There we go. I think you can do this level without even having to go near the blue ones, which is quite nice. Tell you what, let's move away from him so he can do his little dance or whatever. There we go. Right there we are. Lovely. Good, good, good. Right. And... Where are you jumping to? There. Good. Excellent. There we go. That was easy enough. And that's much higher. Anyway. There we go. Uh, I think I'm going to... Oh, I'll tell you what. I can I can do this one. There we go. Come on. Nice and simple. Again, the, diff the difficulty curve is legitimately confusing in some of these. It's like you have a hard level like the one I showed earlier. Then you've got something like this. Anyway. Anyway, there we go. Um, I, I'm not going to show too much off because, quite frankly, it's all very repetitive. It's a puzzle game. It's one of those that you're not meant to play through solidly. It's sort of like a distraction game, and I appreciate it for that. It's fun enough. It's a good time. I enjoy it. Voxelbot. Give it a go. There you go. That's my seal of recommendation. In any case, if you enjoyed today's video, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If you didn't enjoy today's video, well, there's always a button for you as well, so don't forget about it. In any case, this has been Voxelbot. I've been Toggle Jam, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.